Hi everyone, um, this is by way of an update for you on where we are and where we've come since our first event uh, four years ago. As I promised, I would keep you up to date with what we're doing and where the money's gone. And um, we thought we'd start here in the Mzungu Garden. Mzungu is the word that the locals use for the white people here. And as you can see, it is rather lovely. We've got our tree here and all this has been rebuilt by from our your efforts and um, I think we can feel pretty good about that um, certainly compared to the way it was before it is a hundred times better and actually it looks rather pretty and they've even got a few little private rooms for us people from Henley um, so this has been a great success and but this isn't this isn't all we've done and I want to um, now move on to um, the uh, surgical ward where we've rebuilt uh, the whole of a, a surgical wing for the benefit of the ladies who've had uh, problems after their birth with um, leakage of urine. It's a real problem out here because sometimes their labours get stuck and this is what happens. So we're going to move from uh, this labour uh, garden, this labour suite here, uh, onto the surgical VVF unit. This is the medical wall which we have to do something about and I would suggest that that is our next priority. Now we're going to, if we're just going to move very uh, slowly along um, the walkway here. Now we put this walkway in because people were getting absolutely soaked going between the maternity and surgical wards going to theatre. And it's made a huge difference to the, uh, the condition that patients turn up to theatre in um, before. They used to turn up absolutely so soaking wet, which is hopeless. It's not the most brilliant bit of carpentry ever, but it's, uh, it does the job, but it'll probably remain up here for many years. The wood is very hard, and as you can see, it's made from tin up here. On the right here is the surgical ward, and this also needs desperately renewing, and we will get on and do that as soon as we can. The next two big projects are to replace the surgical ward and replace the medical ward. Um, and uh, probably relocate the children's ward into the compound, which, which would be a sensible thing to do. This again, the surgical ward has got very narrow, cramped conditions. Um, there's no privacy at all, uh, and most of the windows haven't got glass in, so we've got a lot of work to do. On our right here now, we have a ward which we have built ourselves. That's Kamuli Friends, that's uh, you and me. We, we built this ourselves. Uh, and paid for it and uh, it really is a bit of a triumph um, it's very nice and clean it's kept clean and separate for these very sp this special group of ladies that has this that have this problem when they've uh, when they've uh, had a baby we've now come outside the main hospital compound and we're going down to the accommodation blocks which is where uh, we've had most influence recently and I think most of the money that we we raised at the last event uh, has been spent here. Um, we'll have a better look at our accommodation in a minute, but if we walk down here now, you can see the first two, there's two nurse accommodation blocks here and here, um, which um, house, uh, each one has eight nurses and their families living in it. Uh, so um, it's quite a lot of accommodation there, and there's quite a lot of accommodation there. So 16 families are living in those blocks. And then right down at the end, um, we've got the uh, two families are living in that senior nurse uh, block and uh, as you can see they're cultivating the land all around these blocks now they will grow vegetables here and uh, they've got a rather nice little uh, garden area over here for the children to play in so it's a really nice little area for them to live in. Our next project we are hoping will be to solar power the whole hospital and um, an area of land just beyond this house over here is going to be cleared. We think about an acre and a half of land, uh, and that's, so that's very exciting. That's um, um, the solar power industry has kindly donated to to the hospital uh, enough equipment and expertise to get this project started. So we're hoping to do that early in the new year. So that's really exciting. Your money goes quite a long way out here, um, and I think you'll agree that the accommodation. Uh, that, that we live in is not too bad at all. And as you can see, the grounds here are rather lovely and uh, when we opened this uh, whole house about four months, uh, no, three months ago when I came out here, 
uh, with, with Ali Mosawi and with Alice, uh, my niece, we planted some little trees here. Uh, and as you can see, the, the little ones are growing here, there. But this is our main living area, and it's very clean and relatively free of nasty insects. Um, so you've done all of this chaps, it's amazing, it's absolutely amazing and it makes a massive amount of difference to anybody visiting doctors and uh, uh, doctors and students who want to come out here and friends to be honest, uh, anyone who, who, who would like to come must uh, come and experience this if they want to. Um, this is all due to the work that you've been putting in and uh, we've got a little bit more to do, I know, but we are working very hard on it. Look, looking very much forward to uh, another event when we can um, celebrate what we've done so far.